Ayahuasca is uh, a brew. It's made from two plants, Amazonian plants. They're combined, they're brewed in water, and the brew contains psychoactive alkaloids. And these alkaloids induce a strong experience that has different, different qualities for different people. But one of the things that's most reported is people will have a sense of almost like a lucid dream or a waking dream. And this dream can last for anywhere from two to five hours. And the dream is both visual, it, sometimes it could be auditory, kinesthetic, so many different ways of experiencing this dream state. But the thing that's different than uh, a nighttime dream is this dream, individuals also are lucid or aware that they're dreaming. So the, so the interesting uh, potential of this is that a person can be reflective as they're in the dream state, as they're having these dreamlike experiences. And because, of, because they can be reflective, they can make meaning of these images that they're seeing. And these images are often metaphoric. They often portray memories that the person's had in the past, but these memories come into the present and in connection with their reflective awareness, they can start to understand and examine memories from the past. When people have these experiences of seeing these images, these dream images, these waking dream images, people respond differently. People that have had a background in psychotherapy or a background in meditation are able to use this experiential situation much more productively. If a person has had no experience in psychotherapy, no experience in any kind of introspective technique like meditation or yoga, then they will have an interesting experience. It will be powerful and dynamic and uh, exciting perhaps and interesting, sometimes difficult. However, the, in terms of actually growth and transformation and understanding and meaning making, it seems that individuals that have some preparation and introspection and some degree of of how to navigate these experiences, these are the people that really benefit the most. So it looks like there is a need for preparation and pre-training for this, for the use of ayahuasca.